Hello everyone, it's the Architects here. Today I want to show you how to make elegant sunshade in ArchiCAD. First of all, for this kind of project, I prefer sketching it on the paper and after that, I clean them in the ArchiCAD worksheet page. As you can see here, we have some sketch. Sketching is very important because you can decide how it's going to be looked like and you can very easily by editing simple lines. For instance, if you think it's very short, you can easily change the height of this. Let's hit the M and it says 3 meters, but I want this to be higher. So I'm going to stretch it by 50 centimeters. To do that, I'm going to click the mark tool and make a selection like this. Hit Ctrl plus H and I'm going to input here 50. As you can see here, it was easily changed. Once we have done that, we are going to start modeling. So let's go to ground floor. Double click it and I'm going to right click our worksheet. And click show as trace reference. As you can see, we can clearly see our sketch. We can change the visibility options. Click here, click trace reference. And for instance, if you want to see this black from reference, you can click this choose other color. You can click black and there you have black. And of course, you can reduce this slider to a lower value and you will see something like this. And you will see this sketch is faded and it will be easier to work with it. Once we have done this, I'm going to start this one by adding columns. I'm gonna hit the M and it's 13 centimeters to 20 centimeters. We can measure this column also. It's 20 and 30. Maybe it could be 15 centimeters. You can fix it from the worksheets or you just can start modeling with true dimensions. Now let's click this column tool icon and from the cross section size and I'm going to change this 30 to 15. And once we have done this, we can place our column. Let's rotate by 90 degrees and I'm going to match this column with this column sketch. So I have to find this middle point. To do that, I'm just going to place a cross here and I'm going to use the intersection point. There we go. Now we can change the height. It's going to be 350 centimeters. Let's click our column and from the settings, you can hit Ctrl plus T to open up the menu. And from the top link, let's click this not linked. And now it was disconnected with the upper floor. And we can change the column height. From this column height input box, I'm going to input 350. And click OK. Once we have done that, we can duplicate this. To do that, I'm going to follow this method to find the middle of the column. There we go. Now I'm going to hit Ctrl plus T and Ctrl and Alt. By this method, you can easily duplicate your items multiple times. Okay. Now we have our columns and now we need our beams. So to place the beams, we are going to use beam tool. But for the dimensions, let's hit the M. It's going to be 16 centimeters to 
13 centimeters but we have changed this value to 15 let's click the beam and this is going to be 15 and this is going to be 16 actually we can change this value to 6 i think this will be better and now we can start to place but before placing it from the reference axis and offset we are going to determine this reference line for this example i'm going to click this location to bottom because if we increase the height or width our bottom elevation our bottom elevation won't be changed okay i'm going to click here and here let's click continue and hit f3 to look at what we have in 3d window as you can see here our blue reference line is under the beam move to the top let's move this on the top of the column Let's hit F2 and we cannot see our beam but we can see in the story one if you want to see this beam on the ground floor you can go to settings floor plan and sections we have these options home and one story down click that and click ok now we can see our beam on the ground floor and we are going to control plus u and going to select drag increment and spread and click ok once we've done this we can duplicate once more to our second column and now we can start to placing our other beams with other direction For this beam, the value is 8 and height is 16, same beam we are going to use. But the elevation will be changed. This beam will be positioned on this beam. So I'm going to click the dragging point and click the second point and now we can hit ctrl plus u and we can click this increment and spread and click ok this point to this point move the mouse when you satisfied click ok There we go. It's nearly done. Now we can start to placing our shadings. To achieve it, I'm going to use shell tool. Let's click it and change the structure type to simple. And the thickness will be 1 cm for now. But I'm going to change this to 0.1 cm. And construction method will be detailed. And from the 3D window, I'm going to click this face and click this corner, our second corner, third corner, and fourth corner. Now we will determine our extrusion length, which is 90 centimeters. There we go. We can change the surface to a simple color. Well, actually, it's not going to be concrete. Maybe we can make this yellow. Let's type in yellow. This is Archicad 26 new feature.
and you can see this flickering to solve this flickering problem we can click flip to change the direction but this time this surface is flickering so to solve it i'm going to click this edge and click this offset edge but before that i want to determine our actual thickness i'm going to make this 0.1 And I'm going to create a section which passes through into this sun shading. Click section tool. And create a section like so. And open it. Now we can clearly see our shading. And we can change this point location is 0.1 centimeters, 1 millimeter here also. Oops. There you go. Now, once we have done that, we are going to duplicate this with the help of this section view. Once we have copied this, we are going to rotate with 180 degrees but it's not working actually we have to take the symmetry so let's right click move and we click mirror like this and we can place to its location but i don't want them on top of each other so I'm going to move this point to the middle and also I'm going to do same for this point also for this point too and also here now it's time to copy throughout all the structure let's hit ctrl plus u Click OK from the starting point to second point and delete the rest. And now we have our first shading. Let's just select them all and group together. And let's drag the sun shadings to its sketch position. In the 3D window, we will see our shadings. But the second one will be reversed. So, to achieve it, first, of course, we are going to duplicate here. And we will mirror this, but we need some help, maybe from this section. Let's click our second sun shadings and mirror them. Nope, it's not working. Maybe we can rotate. Yeah, it will work. this point to the middle point and of course rest will be positioned let's duplicate this once more and change the location of the fourth this will be copied to here and this one will be copied to here there we go we have our elegant sunshade made by Archicad. I have a tip for you. You can select the only top part of the sunshading without this structure beam. And from the file you can save this one as object. Once you have done that, you can place your new object to floor plan. 
just like that and you can change the dimensions for instance you can make this smaller or larger let's presume that this is going to be smaller and after that I'm going to duplicate once more and duplicate once more to here and we will see something like this all right guys this is how you can create elegant sunshade in archicad if you have questions or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below and if you want to download this project file you can go to my patreon page you can download this from there and also my other project files and some advanced archicad tutorials until the next tutorial have a nice day